Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is the troubleshooting of a thermostat using magnet jumpers. Okay, we're using these instead of, say, alligator clips or actually taking the wires out of the terminal block here and wire nutting them. So, just to give you a quick rundown of what's going on here, is this is a uh, five wire thermostat color code for a gas furnace. Uh, or oil burner. Um, so basically what you have here is you have R to RC, okay, that's 24 volt power from the R on the control board coming into the thermostat. Comes in R and then it powers the face of the thermostat, okay, if, if you don't have batteries. In this case we do. So it's, it can hard power and use batteries to power this thermostat. It comes in as red 24 volts and finds its way back through the C terminal. Uh, in this case, it is the blue wire going to the common. All right, so that this will be considered a load. Anything else, the G, the G terminal, the Y terminal, and the W terminal, and the wires that run from here to the control board, those are just signal wires. So at the control board, when uh, Y sees 24 volts, and those cooling should be calling, okay? When the control board sees 24 volts, here on the W, it knows to start the sequence of operation of the heat. If it sees 24 volts at the G, then it'll turn the fan on. And what happens in the thermostat is if you turn the fan on, R slash RC, because there's a jumper here, that will touch G. So R, the 24 volt power, and G will touch, sending 24 volts back through the G wire as 24 volt signal wire at the control board. If you're turning cooling on, then what's going to happen is R and Y are going to touch in the thermostat face and it sends a 24 volt signal back t through Y of the yellow wire to the terminal here okay and then it turns cooling on if you are turning heat on R slash RC is going to touch W in the thermostat here and send that 24 volt signal back to the control board on the W terminal okay so that's how it works so just say at your thermostat here, uh, you turned you turned this to fan on, and nothing happened. So the fan didn't turn on. What we're going to see is is we're going to see if your thermostat here is bad, or if maybe you have another issue back here at the control board, or you know you, you could have a bad capacitor on your blower motor. But let's just see um, by taking the mag magnet jumpers right here. We're going to go from R to G right here, and that will send a 24 volt signal back to the G, and you can read it from, you can read 24 volts. If this, if this board is on and the LED light would be lit, you'd have 24 volts from G to common. You always have 24 volts from R to common, okay? As long as your fuse is intact and you have power here. So this is a way to, to basically bypass or get around the thermostat face. If you wanted to turn heat on, you could just put it from R to W, and then you turn your heat on. And likewise, for your, for your cooling, you can just go from R to Y, and your cooling will turn on. So this is a quick way um, just to get around your thermostat face. You could take a jumper, and in this case, you're going to have to use alligator clips now because you can't use the magnet jumper on these, okay? So, we're going to use alligator clips now, and we're going to go from R to G with the power off, all right, and then you turn your power back on. Right now, you should have 24 volts connecting from R to G, and that would mean that the fan should go ahead and turn on. So, if that happens, if that happens then you know there's a problem somewhere in your communication lines coming from your thermostat wire to your thermostat or the thermostat itself. It could even be possibly in the base here, basically where these uh, right here meet, meet these terminals right here in, in the base, there could be something wrong with that. They could also be bent out of place, you know, it could be, it could be a couple things. But the, uh, I do take in the magnet jumpers with me. Um, they're just a quick way to, say, bypass your five minute uh, on delay for cooling. So anytime you turn your thermostat here to cooling, okay, and then you set your temperature down below 
whatever it is in the building. Right now it's cold here. It's 58. So if I set this to 53, it's going to take five minutes. Um, if I had the power, to, if I had the power shut off to this thermostat and then I turned it back on, it would take five minutes uh, to to turn on that cooling. Likewise, say I just turn this temperature up. Now, just so you know, I've had these batteries in here, so it's been longer than five minutes. But I just turned the cooling off by turning the temperature up. Now, if I turn the temperature down, it's going to take five minutes before the cooling turns on. All right, and that is a safety feature. All right, and what that's doing is protecting your compressor um, and letting the refrigerant on both sides of the compressor, one side to the high side, one side to the low side, it's letting it equalize before trying to turn on your outdoor compressor. So, in this case, we would not want to jump from R to Y because, you know, the compressor was just running. But just say you had, you were in the middle of a diagnosis, you turned the power off, and then you turned it back on, you knew the compressor wasn't running, you know, uh, then you, instead of waiting, because that five minutes will be the longest five minutes of your life, you, you can just take your magnet jumpers real quick and jump from R to Y, all right? Um, it's just a it's just a quick way. There's neodymium magnets inside of these uh, mag of these uh, magnet jumpers right here. Now, if if one of these signal wires were not making it back to the control board, say right now, you should be reading uh, 24 volts from W to common because we're calling for heat. If you're not, then there's something wrong with the thermostat wire here. And usually, you can always switch out say for instance this is five wires right here that are being used and this is 18 6 wire so that brown wire right there you could switch it out and put that in the w and switch it out over here and put that in the w okay um, and then this way you have that problem wire switched out of there um, you know and then that that could rectify your problem so if for instance right now from R to Y, you have 24 volts coming in, then 24 volts coming out to the Y terminal. If you don't have 24 volts from common to Y, then then there's a problem once again with your thermostat wire, okay? Um, if you have jumpered from R to G, and you don't have 24 volts from G to common, then once again, that would be an issue with that thermostat wire. Or it could be the connection in this thermostat base. You wanna make sure that they're all snug down and the service tech's rule is, if there is an intermittent problem, you want to do something, okay? You want to check all of the electrical connections. You want to check maybe the, the error code right here. You want, to, you want to go around and check for loose connections. So that's something that you're going to do first. But, um, you know, in, in just in reference to troubleshooting this thermostat and troubleshooting these wires, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on how you do that and how you can use a quick little service trick like this. I did put a link for these uh, magnet jumpers in the description below if you're having trouble finding them. Um, they are useful. They're not the end all thing, but they're, they're certainly very useful. Um, but I just wanted to give you that quick rundown of how to figure out how to jump past your thermostat face. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.